Hey, how's it going? Johnny here. In this video, I'm gonna be making a ice cream French toast with a blueberry topping and bacon. And we're doing it live, right next to the street I live by. Let's check it out. So I already got the bacon down and the blueberry going. Um, see the blueberry topping is over here. It's just warming up. It's just blueberries and water. I'll show you everything I put in there in a minute. And then I'm just trying to get it up to a boil and then the blueberries will break up and it'll turn itself into a topping. I put that and the bacon down first so that hopefully this video won't be like 35 minutes long like the other ones. Go ahead and get my music going so everybody can hear that. The old smooth jazz. Let's check everything out. The griddle should be at about 360. Oh, it's up to four. Okay, it's a little higher than I thought. We're still good. Um, so I got the French toast over there on the side waiting, and then I got the blueberries down and the bacon down. This bacon is a brown sugar bacon I just got from Kroger. So, I, man, I wish you could smell it. The sugar is coming off, smells so, so good. Um, then there's gonna be this blueberry topping on top of the French toast, which is made with ice cream instead of milk. So we are, uh, we're gonna have a lot of sugar for breakfast today, everybody. Not gonna, not even gonna lie to you. So let's go take a look at the ingredients real quick. I'll show you the uh, French toast. So for the French toast over here, I got this Texas toast. Um, I got my butter that I'm gonna put down after that. Then here's my like French toast batter, which is a cup of ice cream, vanilla bean ice cream, three eggs, nutmeg, cinnamon, and some vanilla. Just a little bit like a teaspoon of vanilla. So that's all it is really, it's just you're taking the milk or heavy cream that you would use and then you're like replacing it with ice cream. You can kind of see how frothy it is um, just to give it basically more sugar. So similar stuff, we're just kind of replacing it. And then over here, we got our bacon going. Let's flip that, make sure it doesn't get too dark on me. Oh, it got a little darker than I wanted. That's no bueno, that's okay. Turn it back down. Just gonna be a little crispier. It's a thick cut bacon. Um, definitely this piece got too dark, but it happens when you're on the griddle, you know? It's a learning experience, no mistakes, only happy accidents on the griddle. Got my blueberries are finally starting to boil up a little bit. I just want them to boil. Not quite there yet. I'm gonna move the bacon over. To this warmer area. So I got these two on medium, and then I got these two are off over here. And I uh, wanted to get the blueberries boiling, so that's why I turned them up a little higher than medium. When I put the French toast down, I'm gonna go back down to low. Because once the water boils, then the blueberries will start to break down and they're just ready to get there. Let me show you real quick. First time I'm trying to add a video in here. If you can see the blueberries, how, what I put in there. So there we go. So what I did is I did one cup of blueberries, went into the pan, then followed that up with one cup of warm water going into the little saucepan. After that, we did uh, one cup of sugar. I did a little less than a cup there. I felt like I had enough sugar in this meal. I think it's still gonna be good. And then a teaspoon of lemon juice. And uh, that's it. I just got the little, you could use fresh lemon juice, but I just had the little bottle there of a, uh... oh, there we go, now it's gone. Sorry about that. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Um, as you can see, so I moved the bacon over and then my blueberry topping is really starting to boil up now and the blueberries are starting to break up and that's going to slowly cook itself down into a nice little blueberry topping put these back down check on the bacon again Okay, the bacon's done and it is definitely burnt. <laughs> so, it's one of my first times really using this brown sugar bacon and it got dark. Man, it got dark on me. Shoot, 
Well, it's a learning experience today. I appreciate it if you're watching. Hopefully every video will get a little better. You can see the brown sugar kind of got caramelized and then burnt a little bit there. That is okay. It will still taste like bacon. Hopefully my wife doesn't hate it. Um, let's clean this thing off a little bit as our blueberries are still continuing to cook down. And then we're gonna still finish up with our uh, French toast when it's all said and done. All right. Well, we learned our lesson today with the brown sugar bacon. Be careful with that to not let it burn because of all the sugars. You can see I'm still scraping off all these sugars right here that are on the griddle. So could have been that it could have also been I had the griddle too high because I was trying to get these blueberries I wasn't patient enough to let these blueberries just start to bubble up and boil on their own so I turned it up too high because I was ready to get the live broadcast started all right Blueberries are still rolling. Looking pretty good. Move them up in this corner here. Lots of bacon grease coming off. All right. So our blueberries are working. They're really starting to, to break down a lot, which is good. And then blend with the sugars and, and kind of boil out a lot of the water until we get that syrupy consistency that we're looking for. Move these back here. Get ready to put down my French toast. Do, 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 do. got a new little speaker a little microphone fuzzy thing that goes on top to prevent the wind hopefully that helps and it's not too loud and prevents the car noises going by as well let me know if y'all hear anything let's get set up right here can't have my spider-man coffee mug too far away move the burnt bacon to the back See what we're looking at temp wise here. 384. Three sixty, three seventy, three sixty towards the front. We might have to start in the front. I'm gonna turn the one closest to us all the way down so that I don't then also burn the French toast, but I kind of got to keep this one closer to medium where the blueberries are because they got to keep boiling so they can cook down. In retrospect, it might have been better to open up all four burners and maybe put the blueberries all the way on the right and take off my grate here just so I didn't get this too hot and I could have got my bacon where I wanted it, got my French toast where I wanted it. but live and learn it's the fun part of the griddle live and learn take a look here at the topping you can see it's still boiling out there going down nice and starting to break down and get nice and thick that's what we want Got my French toast down, or my French toast batter over here. Plenty of room for it. I'm gonna wait just another minute here on the blueberry topping. 
Is it still? You can see some of those blueberries in there. Sorry. You can see some of those blueberries in there are still whole and they haven't quite bro broken down yet. And it's a little more liquidy than I would like. So, I said 15 minutes. So, you do the one cup of blueberries, one cup of sugar, one cup of warm water, and they said it wants to boil it out for about 15 minutes. I had it going for about five before I started. And it's been going for another 10, so it's awfully close. But it's also not as thick as I want. And when I put this French toast down, I got a, I got a sneaky suspicion that it's going to go pretty fast on this griddle. It's not going to take too long at all. Let's see where we're at here. 370 on the first one. 390 over on the second one where I got my blueberries at. Well, we're at 12 minutes. The goal here was to get around 15, just keep getting these things shorter. That way I can just fire up the griddle and show, show everybody what we're cooking. Oh, we got a viewer. Hey, thanks for watching. Dreams do come true, people. You just start cooking food outside in the middle of the winter, eventually somebody will watch. You just never know. It's like 33 here in Ohio. <laughs> it snowed last night, but it's not like terrible out. It's just, just a little brisk, but I don't mind it. Good way to start the weekend. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get our French toast rolling here. Do, 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 do. Like I said, I got this Texas toast that I showed you earlier. It is thick. You can use any toast or any bread that you would like. I like this to get that classic French toast look to it. And for the ice cream and eggs, this should make about eight pieces is what I am guesstimating based off the recipes that I've looked at for this. All right. Sauce is thickening up just a bit. Go ahead and put our butter down. Sorry about that, we lost you guys. Butter is down. Start with our French toast now, our ice cream French toast. That is thick. Give this a little mix around because some of the ice cream came to the top. Show you all what I'm doing here. You can see the egg and the ice cream. And I kind of just scrape it off the side there to make sure it's not too thick. I mean, you want to coat the bread, but then after that, I want to get as much of it off because like I said, hopefully we can get about eight of them. My first ones were a little too big. That's all right. Six. Seven. Push them back. I'm sorry, that's six. I'm not counting well. I was at five, then six. This is make seven. Run low on batter. Seven. And there we have it. That makes eight.
All right. Everything's down. Our blueberries are still moving right along. Getting thicker by the minute, which is good. Let's take a look at these bad boys here. I don't know how well you can see. They're still a little bit too liquidy, but we're getting there. French toast. Yeah. Looking about two to three minutes per side on the French toast, so should not take that long. Got my bacon over here, my burnt bacon now. <laughs> You see that first French toast I did not scrape off, so you can see that stuff right there. It's a little, a little frothy on top, so definitely want to scrape it off on the side. Well, it's going to be close with these blueberries. It might not be as thick as I want. I guess I could have added like a cornstarch slurry or something, but live and learn we'll get this we will get this down at some point all right this is the first one that went down yeah yep they are starting to look good Yeah, you can smell the cinnamon coming through in the nutmeg as well. There we go. Now they look like we know what we're doing. Huh? I don't think we're going to only go about two more minutes on this side, then we're going to plate these up. Unfortunately, I don't think my blueberries are going to get quite as cooked down as I would like. I should have started them a lot earlier. So it's at 15 minutes in all the recipes I looked at, but that just wasn't long enough. And I didn't, or I didn't get boiling high enough to get everything to evaporate out. So, but once these are done, I'm going to plate them up because I am not going to sit here and have a live video of blueberries boiling for 20 more minutes. So these are real close. Put this down so I can grab my plates and then we'll take a look at it at the end. Take a look at the bottom of this one. Yep, they're done. Okay. And all right, I tasted the bacon. It still tastes like bacon. Don't worry, guys. We are okay. Okay, pour a little bit of this blueberry on there. A little bit on that one. 
it's just definitely didn't cook down like I wanted. Well, it was a learning experience today. Hopefully, if you did watch the one person, thank you for tuning in. And if you watch it later, I really appreciate it. It'll keep getting better. We learn as we go. I just like to griddle live, and then that way everybody can see, learn from my mistakes. No mistakes, only happy accidents. The, fr the ice cream definitely worked out well. I gave it a real nice thickness to it. And then let's go. Hello. Give it a little taste. It's good. The ice cream definitely, definitely made it even sweeter than French toast already is. So, all right. Well, if you watch this, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Try it again maybe next week. Have a great one. And as always, keep on griddling.